What up YouTube, J-Dub here, and today we are back with the 2015 Kawasaki Vulcan 900 Custom. This is my buddy Ryan's bike, and it is beautiful outside, and it is spring is upon us, so we decided it is in desperate need of an oil change. So we're going to go ahead and change the oil. Probably should have done it before winterization, but unfortunately life happened, never got around to doing it. So we're changing the oil today. So I'm basically showing you guys how to do an oil change on a Kawasaki Vulcan 900. Uh, I think it should work for either Custom or Classic, because... It's pretty much identical to mine so here we go all right guys here we are so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take out your oil drain plug where where is that <laughs> right there okay and it is what size 17 millimeter. 17 millimeter It did not come off with it. Okay. So All right. Have to change that out anyway. All right, guys. Next, you got to take rectifier cover. Rectifier cover off. Ten millimeter times two. Move the cover, and then there's two more right here. Also 10 millimeter. Kind of hang that down, and then there's two more right here for the bracket. There's a washer and a rubber grommet on there, guys. On both those bolts, you want to make sure you don't lose them. Just drop that screw into the oil. It'll be nice and lubricated. Washer. And then the rubber grommet stays in there. Okay. Try to find it. That's hot. Oh, that's hot. Okay, here we go. Found it. Found it. They should have access to your oil filter. Guys, the next thing is removing the oil filter. Is that a Kelly filter? It is. Wow. Okay. Well, at least the guy was truthful about that. Unless this is the original. Unless it's filler. the original freaking. Oh my God! I pray to God it's not. Unless it is the original filler. Not that I don't trust the guy, but I don't trust anybody. All right. All right. Ryan's just wiping down the surfaces there, and he got a oil change kit for Kawasaki. It comes with a filter crush washer and the actual oil yeah. uh, 50 bucks shipping there. yeah 50 bucks shipping not bad at all okay like I said we are using a genuine OEM Kawasaki oil filter like I said you don't have to use one of these but this just makes me feel comfortable using original OEM equipment and it's not really like it's crazy more expensive or anything Hey, made in China. Made in China. Why do you keep calling it Chinese oil filter? Because it was made in China. All right. Oh, I believe those are the parts. All right. Throw a little bit. Splash. Just a splash. Just a splash. Splash of oil. Going to put just a little bit of oil around the seal. And 
reinsert the filter. Just give it a nice good hand tightness. Boom, bam, and the filter is in. Wiping everything down again. And we'll just start re, uh, reassembling the, uh, the parts we took off to get to it. Reattaching the bracket. Remember to make sure you have those washers and those rubber grommets in there. Pack back in place with the two bolts. Once that's bolted in place, you just bolt the cover back in place, and that part of the job is done. It's very important, guys. You want to make sure you change out the washer. I don't know if this is a crush washer or not, but it's it comes not. with a new one. But I just recommend changing it out every time you do it. That way, you don't have to worry about it. I mean, it came with it. Why not, right? Right. So just make sure you take that off and add the new one. That's a much thicker washer. Not really. It's like double the size. Mm. Well, we'll hold on to it in case for some reason it leaks, but that's what it came with, so I'm going to assume that's what it needs. Okay. Reply it. Supposed to have 15 pounds of torque on it. We don't have torque, right. so <laughs> we're gonna do the German method of good and tight. <laughs> good and tight. Right, guys, we're gonna put the funnel in there. Oh, that sucks. Let's use an actual funnel. There we go, an actual funnel. What'd you say? The uh... three quarts to start. Oh, shit. No, no, no. Damn it. All right. That's not going to work. Let me big. see if I can stand up the bike. All right, guys, so this bike took right out about 3.2 quarts of oil. Um, like I said, the sight glass down there, you just check to make sure there's oil in there above the line, and you're good. Make sure you, when you start it up, the oil light goes off, and then recheck how much oil you got in there so you know uh, once oil goes into the filter, uh, you replace whatever oil needs to be in there. So that's essentially how you do an oil change on a Kawasaki Vulcan 900. Um, like I said, guys, pretty simple. Once again, just bringing you a video. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate it helping the channel grow. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I try to get back to everybody. Anyway, until next video.